how you build that. For example, what we use to explain is how AI takes care of different things. We don't allow it to touch certain aspects of behavior that's related to safety or privacy. We do not allow AI to touch because that's a very sensitive issue that we want to be able to have a human touch and feel and compassion, right? And that's not to say AI can't develop those things. And I think if it ends up developing those things, then it's going to, you know, change the whole landscape of things. But at the same time, where we are right now is, you know, move along with AI, but don't lose the sense that you have with your end users, right? Because your end users and your care department, you're, you are the voice for the customer, right? As a care organization, you are the voice for your customer. And that's what businesses are now kind of valuing care departments because like, oh, you know, they are kind of like the front and center of being in the front lines with our with our end users, you know, like they can tap into what's going on. with them. They're the first to know what's going on with the end users. They're the first to know that your product is bad. They're the first to know that, you know, uh, something may have happened to them on this app. Right. So move along with AI and see how it can benefit you. But at the same time, do not lose that communication with your end users.